doing this exercise. Why? So you can understand God's got a divine pronouncement over your life. You ain't got to believe what everybody say about you when you know who you are. So I don't know. I think we got it online. Where is it at online? It's at the bottom of the, the app. Okay, all right, so it's probably on the website as well. Okay, good, on the website. Same places, resources, there it is down there. And what this exercise is, is to get you to see, wait a minute, who has God called me? Especially in this hour. Identify your gift. I'm not just talking to me, I'm talking to all of us. Amen. Uh, to identify, wait a minute, because we've labeled ourselves. Let me say this, and I'm going to say this, I know we've got... Uh, uh, Caucasian people, different other folk like that, you sit there, but I'm, I'm going to use black folk as an example. Use black folk as an example. Y'all remember some of the statements that, that I, I, I said that we make. We, we at some, some reason, uh, because of lack of knowledge, we just took it and run with it. We took it and run with it. I told you when I was a little boy, they used to say that fish and ice cream would make you sick. Now, and here I'm sitting in, and here I am going to my mother, but it's hard. She, would, she made sure we got to go somewhere every Saturday. So here she gave us enough money to go to Hardest. Do y'all don't remember, y'all don't remember Hardest and Gilbert Giddy up. Y'all don't remember that, do you? <laughs> Amen. So we went in there to get the, I'm sitting in line, getting ready to get my food, and a man in front of me ordered a milkshake and a fish sandwich. I'm saying, don't he, don't he, I want to help the man. Now, you know why black folks said that. Because they didn't have enough fish and they didn't have enough ice cream for everybody. And so we run around saying, fish and ice cream will kill you. Now, I'm going to see how old you are. I'm going to see how old you are on this one. <laughs> I'm saying, how old y'all on this one? I'm saying, how old y'all? Coffee make you black. <laughs> now, nobody better not ask me if I drank coffee when you see me today. You better ask me. <laughs> I did not get this dark kid from drinking coffee, okay? I don't like coffee that much now. I drank it every now and then. All right? Now, what was black folks saying? We ain't got enough coffee for everybody. And so now what do we do? Black co coffee will kill you. All right now, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm going to really get into some of y'all religion right now. Pork give you high blood. The biggest lie ever been told. The biggest lie ever told. You know, pork is other white meat. The Asians eat pork every day. They the oldest living folk on the planet. Most centenarians than anybody. And black folks still walk around talking about pork going to kill you. Now, why is it going to kill you? You know that white man was not going to let you eat his hogs. and self You understand? Pork going to kill you. You just feed them hogs. Don't you eat it. How are they killing them? God of my, we just pick up stuff and just run with it. Do you understand? And forgetting that God put a divine pronouncement over our life. Come on, are y'all hearing what I'm saying? Now, 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 any of y'all want to challenge that, get with me. Because I done studied Acts, I done studied from Hebrew all the way down, how Jesus checked. And then, wait, 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 wait. I'm going to really mess you up now. I'm going to really mess you up. I'm going to really mess you up. Watch this, watch this. Let me go to mess you up because I'm going to mess you up. Mess you up, mess you up, mess you up. Hear the Muslims say you can't eat pork because the demons got in the hogs. Well, y'all smoke, you drink, you cuss, you do everything else. But you you doing everything the devils they do, but you won't eat the pork the devil in. <laughs> right? 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 Let alone. Now Jesus done said it ain't what going, you clean you. But now watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. You want to deal with uncleanness? Watch this. When God began to move on Peter to the Gentiles, what did he do? He put him in an unclean house. Ain't he in the house of a tanner? What is that house? Unclean. <laughs> oh! <laughs> put him in 
in an unclean house and gave him an unclean dream to go to unclean people. And here we still run around saying stupid stuff uh, that we won't take time to study and to make sure and see. What are we doing? We're just repeating the same thing. And guess what you're repeating? Slavery. Over and over again. And then you go find somebody, because you can do this, you're going to find somebody that agree with you. You done left the divine pronouncement, and now you come in agreement with that. So guess what it's going to do? It's going to kill you. Mm-hmm. Now I'm telling you, I'm tough. Don't. <laughs> I mean, you come on if you want to. Come on. Get your little guns ready. Bring them on. Because I'm a military man. Are y'all hear what I'm saying? See, we ain't reading the Bible. We read what somebody said. We listen to what somebody said. Then we go find something in the Bible to agree with that. Instead of reading the Bible to see what it says from beginning all the way to end. Are y'all hearing that? Amen. Watch this. So we're doing this exercise. Lord Jesus, I don't know what I, I wasn't going to go this long. We're doing the exercise. Why? So you can get the divine pronouncement over your life. We keep two times. We ask you to look up your first name, middle name, last name. Upstairs, I know I didn't ask you this because I really wasn't going to touch this like this today. But do you have that slide up there of my name? Do you have that? If you, as soon as you find it, just bring it up if you can. Uh, amen. Uh, what I did was, that, that it, it, it would be my name, first name, middle name, last name, and Hebrew name. And I'm about to tell you, uh, what I did with my kids one morning, one morning, I said every last one of my kids, their name, what their name meant and why we named them what we named. So y'all see that right there? Here's, here's my name. Here's the actual meaning. And here's why my mama named me. My name is Merv, which means friend. So if it sounds like I'm real bad and not friendly, I actually, that's my makeup, is to be a friend. That's why I couldn't even mistreat my wife. Amen. Praise the Lord. Uh, Merv means friend, but she named me after a rich guy, Merv Griffin. And if y'all old enough, who old enough remember Merv Griffin? Amen. Y'all done told on yourselves. All right. Okay. You know, Merv Griffin had all the shows. Amen. Wealthy man. He didn't have his own show, but he owned all the series and, you know, many of the series and stuff. Merv Griffin. All right. Then there's my name, Tipton, which means habitation. Uh, and But my mama named me after the millionaire. So if you go on the millionaire, you'll see John Beresford Tipton. Uh, if you go to YouTube, because it's old, it's old. I mean, you got to look at it, listen to it. You know, it's old. And if you go on there, you'll see a man named John Beresford Tipton. He's a millionaire, and every week he's—you don't see his face. Every week he's writing a million-dollar check out. I say, God knows that's me right there. <laughs> you understand? You understand? You understand? And and then my father's name is not Massey. My father's name is not Massey, see. But if your father or your mother forsake you, what happened? The Lord take you up. So I take on Mr. Cass and Miss Allie Jane's name, Massey. And look what Massey is, the gift of God. Come on, thank the Lord. <laughs> Y'all understand? Now look, now look, now look, look at my date of birth. Now remember what I said, we keep two times. We keep the Gregorian calendar, which is October 6, 1962. Now, what I'm about to say, y'all going to look at me strange, and I'm going to get you straight, though. Don't worry, I'm going to get you straight. Look at your name and say, he's going to get us straight. He'll get us straight. But we also keep the Hebrew time, okay? So in the Hebrew, there's, there's 12 months and, and a tribe uh, uh, assigned to each month, right? And a tribe assigned to each month. And if you look at it, you can get a clue. Now, none of these things that I'm giving you is totally who you are, but it gives you a clue that, wait a minute, there's a divine pronouncement on my life. Now, for all of you to think that's weird, if I ask you to give me your zodiac sign, what you going to say? Uh, I told you I would get you straight, didn't I? You'll give me your Greek zodiac sign without any hesitation. Oh, no, I'm a, I'm a, and that's why. I, <laughs> and now I'm trying to give you revelation because the Bible's written in Hebrew. So we got to go back to Hebrew to see what God was saying or what he meant. Are y'all hearing me? Amen. All of it. Amen. What is it? It's tools to help you understand. Then we ask you to do this. We say, now go back in your life and look at the significant things that have happened in your life from the time you were 
uh, uh, born on up. And I had a senior do this. I had a senior do this. I'm telling on. I ain't gonna call her name. A senior. She said. She said because uh, we do uh, ten o'clock and seven. Senior said, uh, Pastor, what if we can't remember when we were a baby? And I said, I said, just start with where you are. And then she started talking about her history. And we should start talking about her history. Guess what? She went all the way back. Went all the way back when she was a baby. Are y'all hear what I'm saying? Then I, then I guess what I told her. I said, now, and, and, and what she said brought her to tears. So guess what happened? All them years, she hadn't dealt with that. And it affected, I, watch this now. Watch this. Y'all walk around. You've labeled yourself, and, and you ain't dealt with stuff in your life that's affecting your marriage, your finance, your relationships in church, your children, and everything is being affected because you won't deal with the truth. And you just saw an exercise of why God wants you to deal with truth. Because in your mess is the message, folks. Are y'all hearing me? In your mistake is the ministry. In somebody else's mess. Right. Because some things have to, you have no control over. But God said, what Satan meant for evil, I'm going to turn it for good in 2022. Come on, thank the Lord. Amen. Have y'all seen that?